actually let's play a uh, Nico Theodore he's actually online too so let's let's start here let's play the Karo Khan and go from there who do I think will win like I said I think it's 60 40 net point. I think a lot though I would say probably the majority of what happens is going to depend on the opening preparation if Nepo is able surprising in the openings with the white pieces or even with the black piece I think it's going to be very very difficult for Ding to overtake him my rating is super low right now I'm well aware of that you guys I, I haven't been playing well in arena kings or anything else dropping a ton of points and like a win is plus six against Criari which is just frankly insane uh it's a tie yes it's um I can play Bishop g4 and just trade maybe I don't know if this is actually great I guess I'll take takes with a pawn I'm gonna play Queen b6 put pressure on the Knight just develop with Bishop e7 and castles I mean I think I'm doing completely fine Knight g5 may be a move but it looks a little bit iffy because I can take and play a5 a4 below 3200 why am I even watching yeah I know I'm gonna get my rating up but I haven't been playing much outside of title Tuesday and arena Kings either which uh of course hasn't helped matters Thank you so much to Coach Tommy for the Prime. Thank you so Suzanne Illy for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to um, Electra for the um, 15 months. I guess I'll develop. Thank you so much to um, Draconite. Thank you to the 68. Thank you to Net QCK. I will trade. I think I'm going to go A5, A4, go after Knight. He can play Knight D3 here or Queen G4, but I'm not really all that worried. Only two people can call the rating low. Yeah, now I can play A4. I can also go Queen A6. If I go A4, Knight C5, takes, takes hard to judge what's going on um I can also just castle I can also play queen b5 or queen a6 I'm gonna play queen b5 to hit the knight and a4 next moves an ID he can't go a4 because he loses the knight and I, I do think my position is pretty good here oh no the horror only 31 31 I know it goes there so I'll trade I'll play a4 kick the knight back um I can play knight b6 here maybe I can also go I'm gonna go knight b6 here maybe king d7 maybe bishop b4 maybe knight a5 I should be better here I just don't know if I'm winning or it's only a little bit better uh Ivancho going with black against Topolov today that's awesome that's where that's in um Salamander right in in uh Spain or something goes f4 now I do have bishop b4 I also can just play g6 I can also play f5 question is do I play bishop b4 yeah I think I'm gonna go here to hit the knight I can take and go knight c4 and knight e3 hit everything so I think I'm doing quite well Thank you so much to Jack Malpo for the five. Thank you to Meowdy for the prime. Lucas Martin. Let's take. Let's go here. Thank you so much to Feasty Pond. Thank you to TK Kent. Now I can take. I can also take. I can also play like um, B5 here. A3 also a move. Castle's obviously quite reasonable. I can also just take D2. I think I'm just going to castle. He can't really go Bishop F4 because of Knight B4. If he trades, I just take. Goes F6. Now I can obviously take on D2. I can also play G6 maybe. I'm gonna play G6 probably a bad move but I'll play it anyway we'll see if it's actually bad it goes B3 so of course I should take I should take I should play like Rook A3 to hit the pawn I can go Rook A8 later yeah I think I go here I should be better it's just the only issue I have is my my King side potentially he's gonna probably play Rook D3 here I'll pre-move Rook takes A2 c3 okay that's a good move potentially I can't take some mate if I just bring my king over what's going on let's see if I go king king c8 king d8 yeah I think I'm gonna bring my king over here it's beef no b4 is not a move here so let's see it goes there I'll go here bring my king over plays h4 I can play h5 but I think I just want to get my king closer not so worried about h4 here I think um what I'm gonna do is I have knight b4 and I can play like rook c2 I can go b6 here I should be better if I play this precisely I think you in control for the tier one bar two black thank you JN for the prime thank you Evan Lessie for the five for the five dollars thank you so much knight f4 looks like a mistake I'll play rook h2 here I have knight c2 I mean if h5 I even have g5 here I even have knight c2 I mean this looks scary for white now if I go knight c2 if I go knight c2 what's his move then he has no knight c2 if king g3 I go rook d2 yeah this should be good for me Warriors versus Lakers I don't know what's gonna happen let's go here he has knight d3 but then I have b6 just to cut him off at the pass no knight c5 I take the juicer That was a mistake though because I gave him king f3 oh I can but if I take king e3 there's nothing right let's go here go here and now I can take the pawn I think I'm I think I'm winning here check and now yeah now he's in real trouble let's go here 
and I can play rookie four next move and the game is just overnight check collect the rook collect the knight ggs okay first good game let's keep going one up one down let's play knight f3 keep it simple play like d4 um actually let's play a London system here if Dean can play it why can't I bullet brawl will be starting in 40 minutes you guys so we're just gonna play some casual blitz slowly try to work my rating back up if I can at some point and go from there let's go here probably I'll play Bishop H2 maybe I just castle 97 logical I guess I'll go here to trade now nah, this is kind of dubious wait if I take 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 I don't know this looks I guess I take I could have taken with a pawn too but I assume I'm just gonna trade Queen g5 maybe a move maybe just knight d2 knight b3 maybe f4 I could go b4 here which is probably a decent move I don't know if it's a great move but it's a move and then maybe knight d2 knight f3 we'll see what he does I'll pre-move takes in case he does it how does it feel playing against Cagnus Marlson I always have fun playing him yeah How's Daniel the second best player on site, even though he's not top 20? A couple of reasons. First of all, he's a very strong player without increment. That goes without saying. Um, I'm sure I can take, but I'm just going to go knight d2 and knight f3 to avoid any weird stuff. Um, a couple of reasons. First of all, Dania, um, Dan, is a, Dan is a very strong player without increment and three plus zero. Very, very good. Um, that's the first reason. A lot of players just aren't as good with the mouse, frankly, the mechanics of it. Um, and he's very good tactically. So in three plus zero, it's very different than when you play with increment that's the first thing I would say the second thing that's very that's very um oh uh, what was I gonna say I guess I'll play I'm thinking too long here I can go knight b3 knight d4 probably knight b3 is what I want to play why am I thinking so long here yeah let's just sack upon and play rook c1 I don't know if this is great but I don't want to burn all my clock here um so I forget what else I was going to say but the other thing is also like when you play over the board strong blitz tournaments they're always increments so this this notion of like playing with increment is very different I go here and take and take unless I'm blundering something very obvious here um but yeah Dan is extremely strong when there's no increment but most tournaments that are played uh over the board there oh there's queen e4 which I just missed of course what am I doing great I have to take with the queen and now and I just blunder for no reason um go here and maybe knight d4 maybe queen b5 or queen a6 or something um yeah of course I blunder this too so oh wait no that hang what am I doing let's go here on queen d3 I guess what am I doing okay I guess I'll go like um queen here try to go like queen off six or maybe knight e5 it was a4 which this does give me knight before something let's go here attack the queen I think he missed this this is actually quite scary suddenly because now my knight is jumping every which way I think my man just blundered here this is this is game on again this is a huge blunder playing a4 because queen queen a3 I have rook a1 and then I take I mean this is very scary I mean he can go rook a6 but I also have knight c7 I mean there are all kinds of big threats here yeah this is extremely scary to play for black I don't know if this is necessarily winning for me but it's it was rook ad8 okay so first of all I have e4 I have knight f6 knight e7 king f8 queen f6 is also potentially a move but it doesn't look right um okay e4 wait knight f6 king h8 so let's just go e4 here it was a3 knight f6 king h8 knight d5 is just a draw I think so I'll go check I'm back I might have to just make a draw here um I mean I, I lose rating points but because my rating is so so dead right now it's not actually huge yeah I think I just make the draw yeah I just make the draw I can't I can't gamble here it's too risky if I if I gamble I'm probably gonna lose yeah yeah knight f6 is correct so I lose like two points for a draw but it's plus six for a win so I, I'm actually very fine with the draw I think it's CDQ Denti for the 21 months Let's go here and take yeah I know it's way too risky um Daniel doubts you can speak Italian sorry what if you unless you have a clip of that I assume you're just trolling it's gonna 97 and play like uh yeah I, I assume you're trolling um let's play h5 maybe h4 here I, I think you're trolling if you to Arthur Pym for the 34 months um yeah you've never seen me so late I so low rated I've been low rated before yeah yeah that sounds like a good uh good troll I that doesn't sound like a Daniel thing to say um um let's take he has c4 maybe which of course I I completely overlooked 
Um, I can take. I should. Why didn't I take with a knight? Actually, that's so stupid of me. Yeah. Uh, did I see Daniel losing and bullet? I did. Um, this is actually very scary. I'm gonna go here to hit the pawn. Probably like bishop e7. I don't even know why I played h5. That's just insane. He said you probably can't, but he needs to hear it. I've already, I've already spoken Italian in the past. I, I don't need to please Dania. Um, but thank you for that. It's so weird. Yeah, let's go Bishop E7 in his castle. I've spoken Italian plenty of times on stream. Uh, I spent a lot of time in Italy in another lifetime, another lifetime ago. Uh, I'm gonna play Bishop E7 in castle here and play G6. Yeah, I learned Italian in Barcelona. No, that is, uh, that is Spanish. Slightly different language. Very similar though. I'll castle. I'm just gonna sack a pawn here. I'm slightly worse, but probably not the end of the world. Um, yeah. So I can just take and play like G6. Maybe the move for the six. Noah, Catalan and Bar Catalan is such a weird language, you guys. Like, I mean, I it's like Catalan is such a bizarre language. I, I don't e I don't even understand. It's like it's a mix of like everything. I'm gonna play G6. I'm sure it's a terrible move, but whatever. He's gonna go rookie one. I'm gonna go like rookie eight and. Maybe I move the knight somewhere. I don't know if it's good, but we'll see. Thank you so much to Chris Capano. Thank you to, to a Jean O'Hawk. Thank you so much to Gabor as well. Appreciate it. So I play rookie eight. He can take, take, um, and go from there. Basque is... No, but it's like Catalan is a very weird language. Um, but yeah. Let's Let's see. Okay, knight b5 played. Now, knight b5 is a weird move, actually, by um, by my opponent. I can play a6 here. Wait, this looks like a dubious choice. Wait, this looks dubious. If I play a6, knight d4, I just move the knight. I don't like, I don't, I can go knight d7 too, but I think knight h7 looks correct. He can take maybe? I'll pre-move rookie 7. He can go c5 here, but again, I feel like I'm kind of okay. I also have knight a4 maybe. Knight a4, b4, a5, a3. Now nah, I think I'll just go knight d7 and knight f6 or something. Something simple here. I can play a5 if I want to. I can also just play like rook c8 or just knight f6 or queen c7. Um, I guess I'll just play queen c7 here. Keep it simple. Let's see, one logical. I can play knight e5 maybe. And knight c6. I don't know if I love my position, but I think it's okay here. If he takes, I take. If not, I go knight c6, and I'm probably okay. So, all right. Thank you so much to Alia. Thank you so much to Alia. I play knight c6, he trades. I mean, I assume I take with the pawn. I could take with the queen too, but whatever. Probably d4, a5, a3 will be played, and then we'll see what happens after that. Knight is not ideal on, um, on, uh, there, but I can also go e5 and rook a8. It goes a4. I mean, I really don't like the way that. Theodore was playing this. It doesn't look right at all. I mean, you can play B5, but it just doesn't look right. I mean, maybe five, but it just doesn't look right. I mean, maybe five, but it just doesn't look right. What just happened? I mean, maybe five, but it just doesn't look right. What just happened? I mean, maybe five, but it just doesn't look right. What just happened? I mean, maybe five, but it just doesn't look right. What just happened? I mean, maybe five, but it just doesn't look right. What just happened? I mean, maybe five, but it just doesn't look right. What just happened? I mean, maybe five, but it just doesn't look right. What just happened? I mean, maybe five, but it just doesn't look right. What just happened? I mean, maybe five, but it just doesn't look right. What just happened? I mean, maybe five, but it just doesn't look right. Uh, what just happened? Uh, what just happened? Do I have another browser? Uh, what just happened? Do I have another browser? Uh, what just happened? Do I um, I don't know. What just happened? Yeah, like, sorry. Are we okay or what? I don't know. I the Tesla Com stream open and they raided? Okay. Now I just blundered, of course. Yeah, I, I mean I I just I can't focus. What the heck?
I mean, I... Jeez. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just can't focus. What the, f what the hell? Play E4. Let's go Bishop C4. Ridiculous. Let's play F5 and take. I mean, I just couldn't focus. Yeah, I, I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, whatever. What just happened? I, I guess I, I guess I had the stream open or something, and it just glitched me out. Yeah, that's very upsetting because I should not have lost that game. And that just cost me all my rating points too. And now I just blundered again, probably. Yeah, I just blundered again. There's bishop takes d4 and some trick, probably. Like knight f5 or something. Calm down. Yeah, but it's just annoying because I actually... I had a very good position that game. I was doing just fine. Let's go here, guard the pawn, guard the knight. Drop back. Unreal. See what he does. Good check. Um, I think I'll go back to G1. I don't know if it's the right square, but it looks reasonable. Good checks. Uh, I guess I'll go here now. Yeah, it was so strange. Tell me about it. Um, but now maybe I have E5. Yeah, maybe I have E5 and Bishop F4 here. I don't know. Maybe. Let's go here, and there's like Queen G3, or there's also Knight B5, which he missed. Okay, now I think I play Queen G3, and now I have Knight D6. I mean, this is starting to look actually... I thought this was starting to look good for me. Of course, I missed Knight takes E5, but... Wait, I can play H5. I can also take and check. If I go H5, wait a second. I don't want to burn all my time here. There's takes and H5. There's also Queen E5 and Rook F6. If I take, take, and play H... No, H5, there's C4 in between. So he's an in-between move, so I should take and I should check. F6 I take, of course. Okay, now if I play H5, what's his move? Now let's go H5 here. If he plays G5, I have Rook F6 and I must be winning. I think the Argent, see they have Gabby Tabs, Hoots, and Cali Bob. They have Luigi, Super SMT, and Skywalk for the Prime. Am I done with kick? Uh, no, we'll be streaming on kick on Monday. We'll be starting back up on Monday on kick. But yes, today I'm streaming on Twitch and on Sunday. Tomorrow I will be as well. I'm still upset about how the last game ended. Join the club. Luckily, I'm going to win this game. But that doesn't really make me happy anyway. He doesn't even have a good move, luckily. I'm trying to think what... Okay, he goes G5. So, of course, I go... Wait, if I go rook f6, what's this move? I don't understand. I'm threatening this. I mean, this is insane. If this isn't winning for me, I mean, then I don't know why I'm even playing. Okay, stack. Okay, I can check. I can also play bishop a4, but then there's bishop d7. I mean, I assume what I do here is actually quite quite rudimentary. I think I just go here and play bishop c4, bishop d3. And I, I don't even know how he's supposed to stop it. I go here and bishop d3, and I mean, he just resigns. Okay, there we go. Yeah better let's play c6 again let's try to win i'm somehow back to even rating again but let's let's keep going let's play h5 let's trade let's go here queen a5 queen a6 of course standard stuff yeah thank you to chess.com for the raid though they did actually send a raid over so thank you so much to chess.com for the raid we are of course going to be playing the uh bullet bullet brawl starting um starting uh relatively soon actually so did he move oh no he didn't move i played queen a6 he didn't move okay um, Queen B3, his idea is to play C4. Knight D7, Knight B6 is supposed to be okay here, if I remember this correctly. I trade, I go here. You can obviously trade, you can play Knight D2, but then I, I think I have Rook D8 after Knight D2 to put pressure on the pawn. But yeah, that's what it is. Goes Knight back to D2. That looks wrong. I'm going to play knight of six and knight of five here. Activate the knight. I think I'm just better here. Okay, goes a4, which is also quite interesting. Um, 
If I go knight f5, I mean, I don't know. This doesn't look right, though. a5 just does not look right. He goes knight e4. I mean, queen c4 is completely fine. Rook d8 also probably completely fine. Knight d5 and bishop b4 also surely fine. Um, but let's think about this. Let's see. Queen c4 is like the, the kind of the cheesy cheesy kind of humanish move just to simplify and I, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do it because I can play like knight to a5 idea knight b3 maybe I should have just gone back to b6 though this doesn't really do a whole lot goes bishop g5 so I think I'm gonna play bishop to e7 trade the bishops here I still have knight b3 lurking I can still play like rook d8 so it seems okay I'll have to be careful because there is a b4 trick somewhere in here I play rook d8 I think I'm just gonna go back and attack the pawn and reroute the pony basically not thrilled by it but I think it's okay let's go here put the knight back on d5 and reset would I beat stockfish up a queen of course I would yeah I rewatched the 2018 world chess championship tiebreaker I say poor Fabio might have a hard time doing comp I mean it's very brutal for Fabiano very brutal yeah very brutal someone once said a great gate great game of chess is a sign of a wasted life is that Mr Andrew the top G that sounds like Mr top G uh I guess I'll go f6 and trade some pawns here and play knight d5 that that Andrew Tate said that on Piers Morgan but that's actually originally a, a Paul Morphy Paul Morphy quote let's go here so I'll play here I don't even know if King d7 is right but it's a move and the question is is how do I do this I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to play Bishop c7 maybe I don't even know if it's right but it's a move and I can play a5 here I think I'll do it and just play like Rook he8 I can also go f5 too though actually let's go f5 and try to win the game it's not a great move it's kind of ugly but I can go b5 and Bishop b6 and maybe it's reasonable actually yeah let's go b5 open it up Bishop b6 or Rook hb8 it was rookie one um question is do I play g6 I think I'm just gonna go rook b8 or some kind of trade although bishop d8 always is an idea let's go here force a trade I think I'm gonna take with a rook here I don't know if it's right but it looks decent let's go I have c5 maybe yeah I think c5 is pretty good let's force a trade more pawns coming off the board his pawns are quite iffy on the king side this he's got the double stack which isn't great there I take I mean I don't know this looks good for me but what do I know weak pawns Bishop can target his his Bishop can't touch my pawns pretty scary goes King c2 now I do have Knight b4 here to check him and then I have Knight a2 I think I just drop back I hit the pawn keep the pin alive and I think I, it's pinned to win I think I'm on the road to a victory here he resigns let's keep going all right two big wins after that ridiculous loss and now we just keep resetting keep playing good chess uh it's 12 38 oh I meant to go c4 but okay whatever we'll play a uh sort of like a collie system here with d4 is this live of course it's live you guys yeah big shout out to everybody who's watching hope you guys are enjoying your afternoon uh evening or morning if you're in Asia obviously which line do I want to play I think I'm gonna play the um we're gonna play a Moran here I think I will castle e5 e4 I don't know if I'm up tempo or down tempo I don't know this is actually a Slav variation but reverse so I think I have an extra tempo here with e4 how's life life is good you guys life is good yeah still midnight in Asia okay so he goes a6 I think it's rookie one or a3 I think I'm gonna just play rookie one it looks like the correct move put pressure on the center play h3 Bishop h5 now I can obviously take here I can also play like Queen b3 I can also go a4 I can also play a3 um I can also go queen c2 I can also play queen b3 okay I don't want to burn my whole clock here so um I don't really want to take I think I'm just gonna go a3 here and then the idea I think is to play c4 somewhere in here but we'll see if it's right or wrong he can always play b5 here but I don't I don't think it's right so I'm gonna pre-move knight takes e4 in case he takes what do I think of today's game wild game I mean I I don't know what to make I think I assume that the I, I want to say the game is good for it's good overall for um it's better for Nepo than than um it is for Ding but I'm not sure because Ding had a great hold so it's very hard to judge yeah let's take let's take I mean I should just be better here Knight d4 hangs the juice around b7 I have c5 as well you know six now c5 is an obvious move g4 also an obvious move 
Um, C5 looks quite reasonable just to attack the bishop. He goes back to C7. That being said, I should be better here with some good moves. Not that I'll find good moves, but I should be better if I... Actually, maybe I can play Queen D... Actually, what about Queen D7 and Queen F5? Yeah, I think I'm going to try this to hit the bishop. And then go Queen F5 and just trade. Yeah, let's go here. Force the Queens off. I've got this nice chain of three here. Goes F6. He doesn't actually go for it. So I guess I'll go here. Attack the Knight, of course. Create the Wooden Shield. Bishop G6. I can take and play Knight D4. I can also go Knight D2. Although I've misplayed this and time is kind of balanced. So if I take and play Knight D4, Bishop E8, F4. Rook, yeah. No, I don't want to take. I also don't want to check. I also don't want to play Knight H4. What do I do here? Let me think. I'm burning too much clock. I guess I'll just trade and go here in Knight C4. It's not right, but it's probably not that bad either. But I, see, this is an example where like, if I had more time to think, I could probably figure it out. But limited time is very hard. So I'm going to go here in Knight D4. I'll just take, of course, and play Rook C1. I don't think there are tricks. No, I see no tricks. B5, I just take. Let's go here, trade the Rooks. I mean, his pawn structure is slightly worse, so I don't think I can really be in danger. Although, my pawns are on dark squares, which could be an issue in the long run. Take. But I'm down on time, so I'm not so upset with this end game. But I think in an end game here, I should be able to draw it. Do I have allergies? No, I don't. You card down on time that's unheard of. Uh, it happens more frequently than I ever used to, obviously. As I get older, my processor isn't as good as it once was. Let's see what he does here. Really miss your commentary today? Yeah, sorry. Okay, but I go here in F3. I think he missed it. I think he thought I could only go to E2. Now F3 is kind of scary a little bit, potentially. Yeah, this is kind of a little bit scary for Black. Go check. Actually, why did I do that? That was stupid. Um, I'll go here. I'm trying to go King F2. King D3 is pr uh, probably better, by the way, because, yeah, he has E4, which I completely overlooked. Um, How do I do this? I can still play King F2, maybe. Maybe A4. Am I worried about... I guess let's go here and trade. G5. I think I'll play A4. I'm going to try to expand on the, uh, on the queen side here. See what he does. I'm now up on clock too, which is great. Okay. Um, take and go here. Hit the bishop. So I'll go here on bishop d2 maybe. I still want to go b5. Now I check and play b5. Go here. Try to trade the bishops. Um, go here maybe. I mean, this is very scary. I can go like here. Go here. Here on bishop d6. Let's go here. Okay, now I should be winning here, though. There we go. We get him. Good stuff. Let's keep going. Next game. Play the Karo Khan again. Or let's play Slav this time. Okay, play Z3. I'll play, um, I'll play A6 here. That makes up for the earlier game. Thank you to Moju. Thank you to Strange Magic, TJ, CMU. Um... I guess on this one, I'll play Bishop F5 and E6. It's been years since I played the Slav with A6. So let's just drop back and take. Thank you to It's Ben and Karen for the raid with 211. Thank you so much to It's Ben and Karen. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, do you get one bullet brawl point per win? Uh, it's an arena, so you start out getting, I think, two. If you win again, you get three and then four and so forth. So that's what, it's, that's what it is. So anyway, as I said before, those of you guys who are watching, we have a recap up on... Um, I'm going to go here. I don't know if it's right. We have a recap up on YouTube, obviously. We are playing Bullet Brawl. We will be doing coverage tomorrow at 5 a.m. So we are going to be covering the event. So it's all good.
I don't know if Bishop H5 is right, but I figure it's better to do it than not do it. Probably like Queen B3, Rook A7 or something. Let's go here. Yeah. Okay, I think I just go E6 here. If G4, I mean, I can go back. I can also move my Knight to like E4, which starts to get very dank and danky. Um, and I don't really, I don't really want to do it, so. It goes there. So now I can play Bishop E4, though. I can also play Knight E4. Uh, if I go Bishop E4, there's... I think I'm going to play this. I don't know if it's a good move, but I'm going to play it. Now, I can take with the Knight or the Pawn. Both are playable. I think I'm going to take with the Knight, though. It was Knight F3. I guess I'll play check. It was King E2. Now, I could take on C4 and play Queen B5, potentially. Don't really want to play it, so I think I'm just going to go Knight D7. Keep it simple here. B5, always an option. Knight D2. And play F5. F5 takes, takes, doesn't look great. Actually, I, I had better than this. But let's just go, I guess, knight d6, hit the pawn. If c5, I'll probably check and trade. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not great. I feel like I misplayed this. Okay, so I can obviously trade. I think I'm just going to trade now. I'll go here. Force queens off the board, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, there's queen d3, which I missed completely, and now I feel kind of stupid. But still probably okay. Just develop castle here. Play like rook d8. Okay, it goes a4. I'll take and play a5 here. Fix the pawns on the queen side. I can always go rook to d8 here. Feels fairly decent. This feels like a position that got a Kamsky, the famous fridge and legend, would play a lot. Knicks are going to cook. Um, what does, does the series start? The series starts tomorrow, right? Let's go here. Um, he has b4, maybe. Could be annoying. Okay, I guess I'll play... I want to do knight D bishop b4 is not the move i guess i'll just go here try to bring my king closer okay it goes there of course i take i do have knight a4 me wait knight a4 takes takes rook b4 no this looks fine i just take actually i'm, I'm probably just better here i should be better he goes bishop d2 i assume i should play Rook to a8 to guard the guard the knight. There's f4. I could play f5 here. It's actually kind of hard to play though. How do I bring my pieces back in? I'll go. Uh, I can't go king e8. Okay, I, I just got to move here. Rook a6, rook b7, b5, bishop c6. I can play f5, but it's risky. I think I'm just gonna go g6 here. He's got e4 too, which could be a problem. It was f5. I mean, I think I'm just going to take the pawn. I mean, you can play d5 or something, or rook, rook there. But I think I just go here and trade. And I have knight c4 as well. I go here to hit the bishop. And then I have rook a2. Starting to look quite decent for me. Thank you, Alliance Honorber, for the 25 and Photops for the $3. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Photops. All right, trying to win another game. Probably have time for one more after this, and then I'll, I'll have to stop. Hello to the 14th... Um, Wait, check. King d3, knight d6 is gg. I hit the rook and then I guard and he loses that one too. Yeah, this is good. Go here, hit the rook, hit the bishop, ggs. Gg, why not, as we like to say. Thank you so much to Nushi for the prime. Thank you so much to Nushi. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Nushi. Okay, time for one more. Let's play knight f3. Let's play d4. Um, let's play c4. Keep it simple. Let's play a king's Indian. Um, okay, I'll just... I'm gonna play this old Queen C2 line. It's a very, very old line. I haven't played this in many, many years. Things are to Kavita for the 15 month reset. Things are to Kavita. Appreciate it. Thank you. I can always go Bishop E3. I can also just castle here. And and the idea is at some point I'm gonna play B4. That's the idea. It goes A5, I expected. I think, as I recall, Bishop E3 is the correct move to just take and go like knight b5 and rook d1 and everything else that it entails. We got knight g4. Now I can obviously take here and play like knight b5. I think this is supposed to be actually quite bad for black. I play with like rook d1. I'm threatening to play d6 here. f5 I think runs into d6 here. There's also h3. Can't move the knight back quickly. It goes bishop d7. I go d6. This isn't supposed to be very good for black. I know that. I don't remember why exactly, but... Um, I think I'm going to play Rook E1. I can still play D6 at a later moment. And I think I'm going to play D6 very soon, actually. Goes there. Okay, so now I think I play D6 to open it up. He goes C6. 
And now it's either bishop d3 or knight a4. I don't remember exactly. I think... I also have h3 to kick the knight back, but I don't think that's right. So let's play bishop d3, target the pawn. So I can t play h3 and then take the juicer. He goes f4. I expected that. Um, now I just now it's a matter of the rotations. How do I do this? How do I do this? I know this isn't great. I'm going to play a3 here. And I think my idea is to play b4 if I remember these lines correctly. Goes there, play here to hit the pawn, and go here, sack the pawn, of course. Not super concerned. I take, he takes, I go c5. I don't know if this is great for me, but I ever called it in general. As I recall, these lines are not considered great for black. These are the Clyde to times for the 35, Rev Death for the two, and Ash plays game as games for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, so he's deep in the tank here. I'm going to play C5. He takes. If he doesn't take, I take, and this pass pawn should matter. So he goes G5. So, I mean, he's basically going all in here on G4, G3, which I know is not great, but I'm not a computer, so I can't necessarily win this perfectly. Um, I mean, I know this is not right. Okay, I'm going to play knight d2. It's a, it's a reasonable first step. He goes g4. I can play f3 and bishop f1, maybe. g3, h3. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go f3. Don't know if it's right. I'm worried about g3, actually. He takes. I'm going to take with a pawn. This might be very bad, but I, I don't see the win. And I bishop... Okay, so of course I take. I go here. Sidestep any tricks. Knight c5, there's probably queen b6. Although there's something else here that I eh, kind of missed, but probably still okay. I think my king side is safe here, though. Whoops, did I just resize the board for a second? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did just accidentally resize. So if I take bishop h3, bishop f1, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, I, I don't understand. What am I missing? Bishop h3, I play bishop f1 to trade the bishops. I mean, this pawn is so scary. Like, this pawn is what I'm banking on. He goes bishop f6. Okay, now I assume at some point d7 must be just winning. So I'm going to play it here. Okay, so I guess I go... e2, rook g1 I just take. I could have taken first two, but I'm kind of worried about taking. It was bishop e7. Okay, so now again I can take on h3. No, but I think knight b3 is correct. Or do I play knight d3? Actually, knight d3 looks quite good. I like knight d3. Just hit the pawn on e5. And if a central pawn... Oh, maybe I had queen c3. Maybe that was even better. But whatever. Hit the central pawn and keep keep all the flow alive here. I think I like... Um, I can always trade here if I want. Um, I don't want to get too long time. I guess I'll play queen b2 to hit the pawn uh, let's take and then i take and then can't take takes i go knight h5 to hit the bishop i guess okay um let's take and i'll play like f4 because i have rook f1 here maybe g4 ah, i miss queen g4 okay, let's go here still very much in the game though i have 95 go um, here, I guess. There we go. We got the win. Big W, guys. Nice, nice wins there. So we, we win by six and a half, one and a half, plus five. Very, very good performance. Even with that horrible loss that I shouldn't have had in the third game. Very, very good stuff. We get a rating of somewhat decent land, 3155. It's not great, but it's respectable.